What's up guys? It's your girl Chrissy, also known as B Chrissy, now known as HBIC Chrissy. Um also known as Whimsical Locks for those of you who have followed me in the past. Um I wanted to come in this evening to talk to the fellas. Um so when you see me here in this state of mind just know fellas I'm talking to you and I'm doing this as a voice um, for us women because I am a woman and I go through things as a woman and I see where guys just don't get it you know what I mean like what I wanted to put out there is a woman look for protection in a man you feel me and um i think most men think physical like ah i could protect her if we were being attacked i could guard her you know like shelter her blah 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 like no women look for protection in a man so we need you to protect us women emotionally mentally physically um, spiritually you know what I mean um, we need you to protect our wishes protect our respect um, our security in ourselves women have it hard it takes a lot to be a woman of substance in society today where social media is the mainstream and you're exposed to so much without even permission you're exposed to so much and a lot of times that's where people insecurities are formed based off of the exposure that relationships nowadays are exposed to um in particularly there's this saying where um social media will ruin a relationship and I feel like it's very it's very stupid to allow social media to ruin your relationship but there's something that you men constantly do that you guys just don't get what you're doing what you think is harmless which I don't see how how you think this is harmless what you think is harmless is causing so much pain and turmoil where if it was on the other foot, you'd be having a fit. And for some fellas, it is on the other foot, but I'm not speaking to you right now, so you may exit now, okay? Um, I just feel like when it comes down to social media in particular and... Um, guys showing other women love a lot of guys don't think there's anything wrong with it granted there's a lot of women that don't think there's anything wrong with it but a woman like me feels differently um because i know i used to be that chick on facebook and myspace that wore revealing clothes lingerie um thongs just blood all out and literally i was this big um you know but i used to be that person that showed off her body like that and a lot of times people thought i was doing it for attention and it really wasn't for attention because i wasn't like legs spread wide open bald eagle i always wanted to be a victoria's secret model and that's where that blossomed. On top of that, I love being in my own skin. I considered myself a nudist prior to becoming a mother. Naturally, I was just a nudist. I was very comfortable in my own skin. Um, and that's something that continued as I got older. Um, also, um, you know, I just like to take pictures. So, um, most of the time, me being comfortable in my own skin, me like loving to take pictures, 
I'm naked all the time at home, I'm taking pictures of whatever it is I'm wearing. So if that means I'm good with my angles and I like turning around and my booty is out and wearing a thong, it was okay for me at the time. And I look back at it like I cannot believe I took pictures like that, you know what I mean? Um, but long story short, I was getting all types of inboxes, um, all types of attention that honestly I really didn't care for, I didn't want. I barely opened messages, respond to any. It was so annoying. I'm like, oh my God. And people be like, oh, well, you want that type of attention if you take pictures like that. Like, no, why should I want that type of attention if I take pictures like that? Why can't I just enjoy taking pictures like that? You feel me? So I get it for some women. But there are some women you can tell, like, it's straight up thirst trap, especially nowadays. You know what I mean? Granted, I grew out of that phase. You know what I mean? I grew out of it. And I can't say I won't knock you if that's something that you're into because I don't. You know what I mean? I don't knock you if you're into that. But me, as the woman that I am today, I can't believe that that was something that I was out there, putting out there just for everybody to see, honey. You know what I mean? So I just, I look back at it and I realize the type of attention that it caused which also led to me just like no I'm not taking any more of those pictures and being in relationships helped aid that you know what I mean so anyway um I used to get inboxes I used to get comments I used to get likes from all different types of guys and a lot of them sad to say were not single men a lot of them with somebody's husband with somebody's boyfriend with somebody's baby daddy um grandfather father like you know and it, it i used to just look at it like really guys really this is what y'all doing right now you know what i mean and being that body that figure that was exposing herself I'm not I'm not saying I was like that honey but you know like I wasn't skimpy outfits um you know I was a dancer so I would take pictures in my dancing outfits and you know like it caused a lot of attention but me you know it was also part of a money hustle you know what I mean come see me at the club hello you know what I mean so anyway knowing what type of attention I drawn um from those type of photos back then and being in a relationship with a guy that does like and love now you got like love pictures you know shock wow factor of pictures and stuff like that um it makes a woman like me insecure um because it's like why you know what i mean like don't worry that woman that that chick that took those type type of pictures still takes those type of pictures she just don't post them you know what i mean and um it's like you can get those type of pictures from me you know what i mean but um if you choose to look for those type of pictures and now these girls are very risque they're doing it for attention they are throwing one leg up one leg down bald eagle vagina all in the mother freaking camera they're hopping around in g-strings bent over you can see their a-hole like am i hating maybe a little bit because it has my man's attraction but um at the same time it's like is it me you know what i mean like it makes you wonder like oh this is what you're into like you know what i mean and it's like guys are going to guys are going to look you know what i mean but like you don't have to act on it you don't have to make it obvious because when i see guys liking and loving pictures of a chick that's showing her nipples in a skimpy outfit or a see-through shirt and i see my girl's husband loving the picture like i look like what the frick 
You know what I mean? So I know if I'm looking at that, if it was my man and somebody else seen it, they're looking at it like that. Granted, some women are okay with it, but there are a lot of women like myself that are that is not okay with that. It's it's unacceptable, you know what I mean, for a woman like me. And that's where I feel like a man should be protective about. If a woman tells you whether you feel like it's innocent, it's nothing to worry about, you're just being a guy. If your woman says it makes her uncomfortable, you guys really need to respect that. That's a respect thing. Whether you feel as though it makes it, it shouldn't make her uncomfortable or not. If she's telling you, this is how it makes me feel when you do that. And that's just not about the pictures. I'm just using an example. You know, you could be friends with her worst enemy. You know what I mean? If she tells you, yo, there's no need to be communicating with her. We are not cool. Me and this girl have beef. I whooped her butt three times in life. You know what I mean? She got her niece on me. Whatever the case may be, there's no need for you to even be friends with this chick. And you're still friends with this chick. You're not protecting her. You're not protecting her image. You're not protecting your relationship. You're not respecting her wishes, which means you're not protecting her worth what her worth is to you you know what i mean like fellas you guys just got to be more in tune with your woman you know what i mean like somebody like me is going to get tired of repeating myself repeating myself repeating myself like i'm just going to get tired of it guys be like oh you're always nagging you're always nagging you complain too much just that and the third is just like how, how many of these other females be like well, if you didn't give me anything to complain about, I wouldn't have anything to complain about. If you just do what I tell you to do, there will be nothing to nag about. Don't you think I'm tired of nagging too? Did that ever cross your mind? Don't you think I'm tired of repeating myself? Don't you think I'm tired of sounding like a broken voice box? Don't you think I'm tired of sounding redundant? I think I'm tired of it my damn self. Okay? I think I'm tired of it my damn self. So why don't you follow my directions? Me as a woman, you know what I mean? If my man tells me he does not want me going outside the house like that, guess what I'm going to do out of respect for my relationship? Being, knowing deep down inside, I'm a nudist. I, I love being comfortable in my skin. I hate wearing clothes. I hate jeans. You know what I mean? I like to wear as little as possible if I can get away with it. If my body permits. I'm a mother of four now. My body don't always permit. Okay? But if I can, I will as a single woman. But if my man tells me that that bothers him or his woman shouldn't walk out the house like that, guess what sis is going to do? Sis is going to go change. Okay? Sis is going to go put on something that she feels her man thinks is presentable for the world to see. So if sis does that, why can't bro do that? You feel me? Like, that's just where I'm at in all of this. Like, I feel like you guys just don't get it. You know what I mean? It be the simplest things. You're telling your woman to put on some damn clothes, yet you're loving a, a freaking reckless ass young girl's picture who got her legs spread wide open in a freaking mother freaking dental floss thong from the front make it make sense you know what i mean like if she respects you enough to put on some damn clothes you should respect her enough to delete those um pictures you know the bible says if your left eye causes you to cheat cut that mother effer out now we know it ain't saying literally cut it out but like delete what is causing you to freaking cheat and that also classifies for me in my book what I consider cheating you know what I mean so that's just me that's just how I view things that's just 
not everybody feels like this it's really on a relational if that's a word okay but it's on a relation excuse me sorry it's on a relation um a relationships status so if your status is this is what i consider cheating don't do it because if anybody in a relationship thinks that that's cheating and you like there's nothing wrong with that but the other one is saying no that's cheating just don't do it like it's not that hard to respect your partner's wishes your wife's wishes your husband's wishes it's not that hard you know what i mean like one thing i know about these liking and loving pictures and stuff like that i have been told personally off of my own pictures from back in the day damn you know you got me so hard or damn i jerked off to that picture okay all right when guys ask for pictures i sent it to you know the men i was effing with they're jerking off to those pictures if you notice send me a pic ain't really being asked anymore because it's all over social media so what do you think i'm not going to say what do you think your man is doing but a lot of times that's what i associate with you know what i mean like oh if he's loving her pictures he's getting hard off of it and i have been told this from a significant other yeah what guy won't get hard off the of ass and titties not every guy moves like you honey okay some men actually have their dick under control but that's just me i'm just saying but yeah i um i just wanted to vent about that because i think some guys just don't get it i think i think some of you men need a reality check and I'm checking my females too, you know what I mean? But this ain't about the females. This is about the guys. This can definitely go either way if you would like it to go either way. But um, yeah, this, this ain't what that's about. This is definitely about the men disrespecting a woman's value and not protecting her value. When a woman asks you to protect her, when a woman gets with you and she calls you her protector, she wants you to protect her in all aspects of your life, her life, her children's life, family life, all of that. Her needs have to be viable. Part of her needs is what she feels makes her valuable. With men, you have to be cutthroat. You have to tell them. You can't let them guess, oh, this is bothering you. You know what I mean? You have to tell them, look, I don't like this. Um, don't do that because it makes me feel like this when you do that. You have to tell them because they're not mind readers. So, I also like to be very vocal to anyone in my life. Any and everyone that crosses my path. I'm very vocal because I believe in saying it. So you don't give anyone the room, the option to say, oh, I didn't know you feel that way. Mother effa, yes, the F you did. I told you I felt that way. So you can't get that off of me. You know what I mean? You can't get, oh, I didn't know. I didn't know you felt that way. This, that, and the third. No, it doesn't apply over here because sis always keep it vocal. I keep it 100 within myself. If I don't like something, I'm going to speak on it. And I'm going to try and find a way to speak on it. You know, because sometimes I be picking the worst times to speak on it. But it's like, listen, it's either in or out. And I just, I can't keep it in. You know what I mean? So, let's just be a little bit vocal about our needs as women. And what we feel is a man's job to protect us. You know what I mean? Don't just have step. It don't just protect me from a straight bullet. God forbid, but don't just protect me from, you know, the physical aspects as far as, you know, uh, 
what you call it, um, final destination type ish, protect me from emotional pain. You know what I mean? Protect me from feeling insecure about myself. Because what men don't understand, how you treat your woman, plays on a big part of her security, her self-confidence. If you are cheating, obviously she's going to feel insecure because the first thing that's going to come to mind is one who is she <laughs> okay but after all of that is damn what is it that i did wrong what is it that i don't have and then it's going to start analyzing like wow then maybe I need to be a little bit smaller. Maybe I need to be a little bit darker, taller, thicker, shorter. Like, you know, maybe my hair needs to be a little bit straighter. Like, it's going to be so many different second guesses with yourself that you were once very confident about. You know what I mean? Because the man that you're with has done a terrible job in respecting your value respecting and protecting your value protecting um your self-confidence so now you're insecure because he's loving and liking all these pictures now you're insecure because he couldn't respect your wishes when you told him it makes me insecure 650 times you know what i mean like i'm just saying hypothetically speaking no but based off of experience you know what I mean? Real talk. Based off of experience. This is what I've been through in life. This is what I've been through in life. And guys be like, oh, if I had that, I would never. Or if I, he don't know what he got. And it's like, you know, yeah, you say that. And then here you go. A guy will literally say, man, if I had that, I would. And I would this, I would that. And then you get in that. And then you forget because of how devoted and how loyal. You know that song? I think I'm too loyal. If that's even a song. I think I'm too loyal. At least that's what I think he's saying. Meek Mills. I, I, I feel like I get the words wrong a lot. But in my head, he's saying, I think I'm too loyal. Anyways, we want to just act like that's what he's saying. I think I'm too loyal. And that's what he's saying. Like, you know, sometimes we're just too loyal. And like, why does it have to be too loyal? Why can't we just be loyal? It shouldn't just be too loyal. We're too loyal. It should be an equal. I'm loyal. He's loyal. We're loyal. And we're all loyal. You know what I mean? Like that kind of thing. But, you know, some people just don't get it. And then it's just like, well, now what? Now what? What do I do since, since bro don't get it? So when the next man is steady creeping in her inbox because he finds value in her because he finds value in what you couldn't find value in while you're still chasing those thoughts there's someone waiting to marry her <laughs> there's someone waiting to slide in when you mess up because Niggas be watching and they know they, they know they know the situation They know you've been in and out They know y'all relationship ain't gonna last They know they know what time it is They know what time it is Like okay she gonna get that off and I'll be waiting for her I'll be waiting to slide in You know what I mean any minute You know what I mean I, I used to No I still do I admire guys that um, When I was dating You know what I mean I admire the men that see that I'm in a relationship and then when I'm out of the relationship, that's when they slide in. There are some guys that try and test you while you're in a relationship. They see that you're dealing with someone, so they're trying to test the level of respect that you have for them. Then there's the guys that slide in when they know that you're not dealing with that guy anymore. When they know like, oh, she's pissed off. He's not gonna be here for a while. You know what I mean? Here's my shot. You know what I mean? Like that's that's a smart way to move because that tells me you have respect. You're protecting my my value. 
you know what I mean not that I'd be looking at that but you know that's that's those are things that stood out to me in the past you know what I mean about men that try to be in my, my inbox you know I have um, filtered my life so much to where I don't even get those type of inboxes anymore like I get occasional few oh wow that's you're beautiful and stuff like that which I appreciate but all those those thirst trap type DMs I haven't gotten them in years I haven't gotten thirst trap mother freaking DMs in years why because should I, should I make this a two part? The reason why I haven't gotten thirst traps in years, thirst trap DMs in years, is because I filtered my social media life. I started by deleting Facebook because Facebook, I had way too many friends um, that I didn't even know. I don't know you. I don't, I never seen you a day in my life. I don't, mm -mm, I don't like those type of friendships. Um, so I have way too many of those and off the rip, those are the type that will just steady come in, come in and like, hey, what's up sexy? Da -da 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 you know what I mean? So got rid of Facebook. That wasn't the only reason why I got rid of Facebook. Like really Facebook to me is just disgusting it's chaotic it's annoying um i can just go on and on but i'm not because we don't have all day but that's how i feel about facebook i just i hate facebook um it's great if you want to be nosy <laughs> yeah <laughs> but overall no um so i narrowed down my social media lifestyle i got snapchat i have instagram snapchat I literally have like the shortest list of snapchat friends seriously and therefore I don't get no crazy thirst traps I know everyone in my list of friends I have about what 20 male and female all together 20 total of friends on snapchat so obviously I'm not going to be getting any crazy type of things because I don't know those type of guys. And on my Instagram, I condensed my um, Instagram so much to where the people that I allow to follow me are people that I know, men that I know, like personally, I've met them, I know them. Or if I don't know, I follow them first and they requested to follow me back. Or, you know, like, it's it's not anything that's going to be like, what's up, sexy? How you doing? Damn, you fine. Can I get it? I just want to eat it one time. Like, yo. I can't believe niggas used to send that. Like, there's still niggas that send that, but not to me. You know what I mean? I condensed my... I consolidated my social media lifestyle and therefore, I don't get thirst trap DMs. Not to mention, when you carry yourself a certain type of way, you don't get those type of DMs. So, those guys, even if they do do things like that, they aren't doing it to me. You know what I mean? I'm very vocal on my social media, so I'm pretty sure, you know, they see it and, like, they'll be embarrassed just because they know how I talk and know how I feel about guys like that. And then secondly, um... I just don't have those type of people but I no longer post those type of pictures so if you want respect you gotta earn respect in that sense but that's just a little segment okay but um yeah so that's my event because I just don't think everyone gets it I know everyone doesn't get it. I know that for a fact. And listen, honey, I'm not here to make you get it either. <laughs> I'm not here for it. But it is what it is. Um, I'm about to wrap this up because it's pretty late. And I'm ready to go to bed. So, anyway.
yeah, fellas, let's just practice being a woman's protector. You know, if she says that this makes her feel uncomfortable or can you stop doing this? So rude. You know, can you stop doing this? Um, can you, I don't know, like whatever she says. You know what I mean? Because we give you guys the same courtesy. We give you guys the same respect that we want. So let us get it back. Let us get it back. Because believe me, you have no idea the levels of insecurity you can go. I mean, I've gotten so insecure off of, off of it myself. You know what I mean? And that's why I'm making this video because I want to be that voice for women that may experience the same thing. I know some women don't feel like it's a big deal. You know what I mean? But coming from the lifestyle that I once lived and know how these things work, not saying they all work like that, but I, from my point of view, from where I'm coming from, that's what I've been exposed to. So that's what I'm thinking is happening. And I'm not okay with it. You know, I'm not a lesbian. So... I'm going to find something wrong now. I know I have friends that think, you know, if the girl got clothes on, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. But you'd be surprised who get off, who jacks off to a freaking smile. Okay. I'm telling you, they'd be like, damn, dumb lips. Man, they turn me on. What you, what that mouth do? Like, you'd be surprised. And I know you guys are probably thinking, well, you probably shouldn't have dealt with that person. Yeah, well, hello. Who you telling? <laughs> but it was there, and it was happening, and it was popping, and, you know. Mother F would do it out of spite, too. I should have had it like this this whole time. But see, I, I throw a little bit on here. But my chest is so flat and flabby and soggy that, you know, I have to make it whatever I'm just saying you guys like this is not my life <laughs> this is not my life get it together get it together overall life could be 10 times better right now but it's not you know what I mean so I just ask you guys to pray for me because it is my season of warfare hopefully it doesn't last too long I'm praying Please, 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 please and my strength and help coming from the Lord, okay? So anyway, that's all the time that I have for you mother efforts tonight. I wish you all the best in life and in your relationships. I hope that it's blossoming and blooming. And fellas that watch this, I hope you learned a thing or two. Trust me. Build your woman. She will love you for it. I'm telling you, she will love you so much for it, okay? And you will be so happy you did. You will be elated. <laughs> You'll be the happiest man. You know what I mean? You will never hear her complain. Happy life. Happy wife, happy life. There you go. So I'm like, well, why can't it be a happy husband? Well, that's how you become a happy husband. By making the wife feel. You don't get it? Alright. You're just too young. Because mm -hmm. any successful marriage older couple will tell you 46 years because i did everything she told me to do we're not going to steer you wrong darling okay but anyways that's it that's all the time that i have for you guys today peace and love love and harmony and be blessed and a a be blessed a a